Hello everyone, this is Fatma Muhammad Abdul Wahab, and today I'm going to discuss two types of the adverbial clauses, which are purpose and result clauses. This presentation is supervised by Dr. Lamia Al Kohiji for the Advanced Grammar course at the University of Bahrain. First of all, here's the list of the purpose clauses. We have seven purpose clauses, which are so that, in order that, so, to, in order to, or in order not to, so as to, so or so as not to, and in order for. The use of those purpose clauses is to describe goals or intended outcomes of actions. First of all, we have so that an action or a plan may be followed by so that plus a clause that expresses purpose or goal. The clause after so that usually includes a model, and the time of the purpose is usually later than the time when one makes the plan. So when the action we're talking about is in present, we use a present model also, which can be can, will, or other present models. But when the action is in the past, we use a past model, which is could, would, or other models. For example, we can say we decided to stay out all night so that we could watch a meteor storm. Here we have a sentence in the past, and we can say, we will take lots of blankets so that we can keep ourselves warm. Or we can say, he must die so that others will love. So the first sentence here we have is in the past, and the model is in the past. The other two sentences are in the present. The second one we have is in order that an action or a plan may be followed by in order that plus a clause that expresses purpose or a goal. The clause after in order that usually includes a model. The time of the purpose is usually later than the time when one makes the plan. When the action is in present, we use the present model can or will and the other models. When the action is in the past, we use the past models such as could, would and others. So we have other examples here which are we decided to stay out all night in order that we could watch a meteor storm or he must die in order that others will love. So here we just replaced the adverbial clause from the earlier sentences to note that we can use so that and in order that interchangeably. So these two clauses can replace each other in a sentence and still have the same meaning. The third is the infinitive, which is to. We use simple infinitive to to express purpose. For example, we can say, I went to the library to borrow some new books. Sarah went to the computer lab to print out her research report. To here can be also used at the beginning of a sentence. So the sentence structure will be the adverbial close to followed by the purpose